So at this point, the metaverse is pretty much inevitable, but of all the companies vying for a piece of this pie, there is one gaming company which also happens to be the most valuable gaming company by market cap, market capitalization, who is not only poised to become one of the larger global players within the space, but also one that allows for anyone to play, create content, and even monetize their platform. And so in today's video, I'm going to go through how exactly you can get involved in this rapidly growing platform and trend, cover several monetization opportunities, as well as go through an actual live demo of this platform. So what I mainly want to cover today involves the highly popular gaming and metaverse platform Roblox, which as of right now has roughly over 42 million daily active users. And not only is this game wildly popular amongst kids, teenagers, and beyond, it's also managed to garner significant investor interest, making it the most valuable in the US gaming company over Activision Blizzard. Nice! And even cooler than that, and this gets into the main point of today's video, and is that people, including kids, have been able to make a ton of money on Roblox by just creating assets and games within the game, and also monetizing those games. And then actually taking the in-game currency, and without a third party, actually redeeming that for actual money. And for example, according to Business Insider, we've already had teenagers and kids make thousands and up to $100,000 or more uh, from the game, right? For example, this teenager here, he's only 17 years old and he's made 100,000 from creating games on Roblox. And this can be done completely for free by the way. All you have to do is to download their free software. They have free tutorials that you can learn from and you can just experiment with it. And you can even create games that are based on current trends as well and I'll show you some examples as well as a demo of the software. And just to give you a brief overview of the Roblox platform, this is what it looks like when I actually sign in to my account on the Roblox uh, website. And as you can see, there are a ton of games that pretty much anybody can can create and list um, on these platforms and it also shows like their popularity and the rating and things like that. So you do typically have to create a decent game or at least something that's uh, somewhat viral or perhaps related to a current trend like like Squid Game for example. It's a very current uh, TV show, right? So these types of uh, games can actually garner a lot of attention and with that, with people spending Roblox within the game, you can actually earn enough to be able to cash out, right? And again, sometimes when games go viral, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're you know the best most well-designed game right it just happens to be that uh for instance you know this is a trend that's really popular and does a lot of people want to just experience that for that you know time period right and so once you accumulate a hundred thousand roblox uh robux rather according to their uh, terms of service and by the way, Robux is the currency that people use within the game. Um, and you can actually exchange it once you have accumulated enough within the game or on the platform, you can actually exchange it for US dollars. So if we look at their terms of service again, we'll see that once you have, well, you have to be 13 years old or older, hopefully you are. Um, and if not, you know, maybe in a couple of years. But if you have, once you have 100,000 Robux um, in your account, you can then, um, you will be eligible to exchange your Robux for US dollars at the exchange rate uh, set by Robux to be able to cash out and you know get that real money I'm talking about this and so in terms of monetizing Roblox the first and most direct ways to create these so-called experiences on the platform which um, in the near future will likely not just be limited to gaming and those types of assets but also with their foray into the metaverse and the more mainstream um, the metaverse becomes there likely will be a ton more applications that can be built through this as well right for example like education something educational and so on and so forth right and so what you can do is go to their website uh, look for Roblox com slash create and here you can download their studio completely for free all right and i'll go through an exact demo or a quick demo of this rather uh very soon as well by the way they do uh come in both the windows and an apple version so you can do it you know on either uh operating system and um real quick before i get into the actual platform itself i just want to show you that um on the roblox uh, roblox website as well you can actually click on developer hub and um, here you can actually go through lots of their step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use the Roblox Studio and then ultimately monetize it um, and just become a skilled developer on this, you know, for the software. And um, to my knowledge, it's also quite intuitive. So there's a lot of drag and dropping, uh, dragging and dropping. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get into. And yet there can be a lot to master and potentially monetize and, you know, be able to do, especially with the metaverse again, becoming more mainstream, right? 
So you can definitely take advantage of their developer hub for articles, tutorials, and a community as well. And um, not only that, um, you can also check out some of the games that people have made, right? You can just sign up for a Roblox account. You can try playing people's games to get a feel for what it entails. Um, you know, I, as I said, some games might actually be uh, more popular. I mean, not you know, popular, yes, but um, actually more simple is the word I'm looking for than you know they really uh, they really look right because again the game's popularity is not necessarily completely correlated right with how complicated it is right you could actually get a really popular game without necessarily designing something super difficult right that's there's always a potential there um, for example if you capitalize on recent trends right anyhow um, with that you could also uh, recently uh, well I'm not sure how long ago but they actually have an avatar shop as well so these are sort of metaverse or in-game character um, um, assets that you can use for your avatar, right, or your character. So you have things like accessories, different hairstyles, um, even different like characters and things like that. Um, that can, I believe, be sold by designers as well, right? As you can see, we have names of uh, these are users, if I'm not mistaken. We have users who are selling these um, items as well, right? In-game items, which can be another way to help them earn more Roblox, which can, they can then, you know. In the future, if they have enough Roblox, they can just cash out as well, in addition to just creating games for that, right? Um, and moving on, other than that, um, you can also take your services if you learn say the Roblox Studio or anything related to Roblox or the Metaverse and there are other platforms for designing Metaverse um, assets and um, use cases as well and some of them are free like Unity um, the Sandbox Creator is one that I covered previously this is a very popular one recently because the Sandbox is entering an alpha phase um, and it's also kind of similar to Roblox but it's more like an NFT based game um, but they do look very similar in terms of like being mine, similar to Minecraft. But anyhow, uh, I digress. You can actually provide services for Roblox as well. For example, if I go to Fiverr, which is a very popular freelancing website, or find that people are this person or a few people are selling things uh, with the Roblox or services, right? Providing services through the Roblox uh, studio, such as this person right here, the second gig here, who uh, will actually script anything, like a simple command, right? And he's selling that, he or she is selling that one thing or you know, perhaps a bundle of these for $20, right? And they've gotten 42 reviews so far. Another person here is charging a whopping $395 space price, right? So they're probably charging more for more stuff, um, but for creating a whole Roblox game, right? And they've gotten 11 reviews. Uh, so, you know, you could definitely get some potential out of this, especially with, again, the metaverse becoming more popular and more people wanting to do different types of things with Roblox and beyond, not just gaming. And with that, here's a quick demo of the Roblox Studio, which as you can see, once you've downloaded the software and opened it and then signed into your free account, um, you'll be greeted with something like this, which is again, very, very simple and intuitive. Basically, they already provide you with a ton of templates, um, which includes not only sort of canvas um, environments that you can build on top of, like these sort of more empty canvases, but also um, if you especially click on theme on the top here, you can actually sort by well here in an under theme these are not games themselves right but rather like um, environments that they've built out for you which you can then you know build games on top of and things like that right so you have like village castles suburban environments um, even a pirate island and some other stuff and in addition to that they also have gameplay if you click on game the gameplay tab you'll be able to look at the game templates that they've already made right which if I just quickly click into any of these um, and by the way you can also um, you can you know extend on any of these uh, build on top of any of them if I just open up the game uh, the game called Lion Runner here you'll see that I can actually uh, first of all this is the environment if you click on the middle mouse button you can move around you can zoom in and out uh, in and out with the scroll button on your mouse and then um, left click is just to select stuff pretty standard oh and right click is to rotate the camera very very standard stuff and quite intuitive indeed and you can also actually play the games as a demo right so uh, for any of these games here for example for the line runner I can click on play up here and uh, I'll show you how it'll show you how the game actually runs so um, let's uh, let's see how I do here okay that was really sad but you get the gist 
And moving on, the other thing I want to show you real quick is how to sort of create your own environment and add assets to your own canvas, right? So for that, I'm going to click on base plate right here for a very, very, very simple um, sort of environment, uh, well, lack of an environment. And what you can do is um, basically on the left here, uh, you'll see like insert object and then asset manager and then toolbox. What I'm going to do is to actually just go to the toolbox um, and then, um, okay, here it's sort of expanded, but oh, okay, anyway, I can actually scroll through the toolbox and you can also search through and sort by different types of things. But you can literally just drag and drop, you know, different assets into your environment. And not only that, but you can also generate environments. If I click on Terrain Editor, um, I'll show you this. I'll show you, I'll show you this first. So if you go to Terrain Editor here, just tab and click on Generate, or you can import or whatever. You can actually scroll down and click on the types of biomes to apply, which are different types of like natural environmental, you know, um, looks that you want to apply, right? So let's say I wanted to do um, canyons, dunes, mount, uh, and lava scape and mountains, um, and a marsh. And then with that, you can just you can make it larger, right? Um, let's, do, yeah, let's do something like that. And then you can just click on generate and it'll automatically generate the environment for you. All right, as you can see here, it's currently filling up my environment here with the things that I checked off, right? So like mountains and volcanoes and all this cool stuff. So it's basically like an island that is generated or several, you know, oops, several islands and things like that, right? Uh, really, really cool, actually. Um, and then I can also, uh, so this is how to sort of create environments, right? Um, you can just have them generate different looking ones and check off different things. But besides that, you can also add in your own individual assets. So if I just scroll through again at the bottom here, there's like the um, toolbox where I can look through some different assets. There's like a pistol that I can like put in. So here's a, here's a gun on top of the sort of, um, what's it called, like a plateau here so here's a random gun here um there's also like roblox character that i can drag in drag in excuse me um i can drag in a huge treehouse wow that's pretty big really cool stuff and finally um since i'm feeling sadistic i can also drag in the squid game um sorry for the spoilers but here's a squid game game from the tv show um that can sort of simulate as well right even though it's on top of it's not like over a cliff or anything so let's let's actually change that um, let's move this over the cliff. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, I need to like rotate it, I guess. A few moments later. All right, and with that, and I'm sort of done for now, but if I wanted to actually publish my game onto the Roblox Marketplace, and by the way, um, to, to be able to earn Robux, you have to find a way to create some type of monetization uh, within the game, right? You have to build monetization into your game, basically, so people will spend Roblox or Robux, excuse me, in your game. And that's how you mainly monetize. Um, but again, you can also provide, you know, services for as a freelancer and things like that. And that could be another way to utilize this. Anyhow, I believe that Roblox is a platform that has a lot of potential. Um, you know, investors seem to think so as well. Uh, it being such a large company right now in terms of market capitalization. But anyhow, um, I digress. Coming back to publishing your game, uh, you can just hit well, publish. Well, you want to go to Asset Manager first. So if it's on a different tab, you want to switch to this tab. Click on Publish, and um, it's as simple as naming your game. So it'll be Fred's Squid Game, for example. Uh, of simple description, uh, play and survive. And then you can just select your genre. This will obviously be comedy. Select the consoles and devices that you want your game to be on, um, and then you can just click on Create. Right, and that's basically how you list your game um, on the marketplace. And specifically in regards to monetizing your games, Roblox again itself has their own tutorials on how you can do so um, with different ways to introduce economies and ways to just monetize your own games. And in addition to that, um, you can actually create better games using more free assets by accessing the so-called library, which can be um, accessed by going over to the create tab up here and then clicking on library. And I'm sure you'll be able to see a bunch of uh, models, which 
I believe you can also access directly through the Roblox Studio, which I have. As you can see, they have like the Squid Game uh, stepping zones and things like that. So if you just look through these free assets, these are actually um, free for you to use in your games as well, which is really cool. And you can also filter by different things depending on what you want, right? And so this is a great way to find things that are more relevant to current trends that you might want to use in your games to sort of um, allow, allow them to potentially be more popular as well. And that is pretty much all I want to show you guys for now, but if you want to learn more about the metaverse and associated tutorials, you can check out my other videos on my channel as well as one's linked videos linked in the description box below. And speaking of the description box, I also have a completely free YouTube course on my website as well as a premium YouTube course which details you know, a lot more, uh, goes into a lot more depth, which also has two free video lessons you can watch right away without having to enter any sort of login information or credit card information or things like that so all that stuff will be in the description box below as well as a limited time coupon code for my premium course in case you get interested later on and um, that'll really help you turn your favorite you know passions and hobbies into a profitable side hustle and you can also work flexibly with youtube and then take that money you earn from youtube and invest it you know to grow your, your wealth that way and with that anyhow thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace